Hey guys, what's up? It's Selfie and Mom here, bringing you a new video, finally. Um, I've had some issues getting a camera to use for my videos, and it's I've been late doing stuff, so... Um, I'm bringing you a different card game, as you can see here, it's Pokemon. I've got my first ever deck, and I've just started playing, and I really like it so far. I'm really enjoying this game. And I've been a little obsessed with it lately. <laughs> but as you can see, my deck is Water and Electric. And that's... I'd really not like to use Electric so much. Water is my favorite type. But, um, like I said, it's my first deck. I'm working on limited resources here. And this is based off of the uh, Plasma Freeze, Freeze Ray deck. So, you'll see... A lot of the cards from that deck in here, I've done some minor modifications, uh, but the basic structure is still the same. It's nothing cool in the deck, nothing new, but the reason that I'm doing it is because I want to keep uploading videos on Pokemon, and I want to kind of, you know, mark my... how could I say this? Kind of mark my path along, you know, how good I am at Pokemon getting better, you know, doing better, all that, expanding my collection. So, I'm uploading this first deck that I have, that way I can look back and reference to see, you know, when I'm done with YouTube, where I started and where I'm at now. And, so, I'm doing this video just to kind of show you guys where I'm starting at. So, um, I've, my energy base is 9 water energy and 9 electric. So, that is just the basic energy that came with it. Uh, that's how much that it had in the deck at the time. I haven't changed it because this is showing a little consistent. Or a little consistent is not the right word there. But it is being consistent, and I like that. I like consistent decks. That's how you win games. So I like this. It's a little much for the normal decks, the pro decks, I guess I should say. But that's because I am running Keldeo. I'm not running EX, unfortunately. I want to get some because they're a lot better, but I don't have any. I'm just going to go regular Keldeo. I only got one because I pulled it in a pack. Luckily, I was in San Francisco a few months ago with my friends, went to a shop, and they had Pokemon. So I decided to pick some up, got into Pokemon, and pulled a Keldeo. Um, so let's go on to the actual deck, not just energy because that's pretty boring. So we'll set these over to the side. And now... Uh, for those of you who have the do or the deck, and for those of you who don't, this is a Eevee based deck. Um, Eevee is one of my favorite Pokemon. It mainly because it has a lot of evolutions and it's easy to work with. So we have a playset of Eevee. Um, so pretty pretty basic, just nothing really special there. It's the evolutions that I like. So I have six. Not six different, but six evolutions. I have two Team Plasma Glaceon, two Team pa Plasma Vaporeon, sorry, and two Team Plasma Jolteon. Um, this is a good structure that I, I like a lot because I have a tech, heal, attack. That's exactly what I like in a deck. I have this, I can keep attacking, and then with, like, say, Jolteon, and then switch out for free for Vaporeon so it can take the hits since it has higher HP. Um, also, Vaporeon heals. If for one energy of any, it can heal 30 from all my Pokemon. So it's like a like built-in potion for everything. It kind of blankets my field. And then Jolteon has its Pin Missile attack, which is I flip four coins and it does 20 times the number of heads. So you are left up to chance there. I do have better attackers in this deck. But this definitely works until I can get one of my better Pokemon along, or if one of them is prized. You know, it kind of sucks, but that's Pokemon. And now, <laughs> this is my favorite set up, or set up set, whatever we want to call it, in the deck. And it came with the deck, and I really like it. It is a... It is three Vanillite, into two Vanillish, into one Vanillux. Now, Vanillite and Vanillish, they aren't that good. I mainly sit these on my bench until I can get Vanillux out, which case I just switch out and get my uh, Vanillux in there as fast as I can with as much energy that I can, which is why I want to run Blastoise in this deck eventually. 
but it has its chill max attack, which is really cool. For one of any, its attack does 60 times, uh, I flip a coin for each energy that I have attached to it, and it does 60 times the number of heads. So I've been playing on the TCGO, and without, you know, uh, I, I got a total loss for word too, sorry. Without applying weaknesses or um, resistance or anything like that, I got 480 damage, easy. Like, consistently was hitting 480. And I've played against fire decks with this, and it's just me. I, I kind of feel bad any time I go up against a fire deck. Uh, for those who, uh, I haven't even said it, um, I run a Blastoise Vanillux deck most of the time on the TCG. I've just started playing, or TCGO, I've just started playing, and it's really fun. I just need to get more cards because, um, I don't have money, so I can't buy packs, so I can't get cards, and yada yada yada. Now, we're running two Voltorb and an Electrode. Uh, this one has Magnetic Draw, which I really like. It lets me draw until I have four cards in my hand before I attack. So, running low on cards, and I need to restock, that's definitely helpful. Oh, Rattat Eradicate. Uh, Eradicate I only use because it's Team Plasma and it has its transfer junk attack, which allows me to get a Pokemon, a trainer, or an energy as long as it's Team Plasma. And as you saw, I don't have any Team Plasma energy. Set base. Uh, two Hoot Hoot and two Noctowl. Hoot Hoot has Dual Draw, which lets all of the players draw two cards. And then Noctowl has its powerful Visions attack, which is really cool. It does 10 times the number of cards in my opponent's hand. So use Hoot Hoot to draw a bunch. My opponent has like 10 or 12 cards in their hand. And Noctowl powerful Visions, I'm doing up to 120 uh, in that situation. Uh, possibly even more, depending on how big their hand size is. Uh, searching, I have Cryognal. This lets me search out any water type that I want. Plus, it has this Kyrie Freeze attack, which is only good if they have EX Pokemon out. Um, oh wait, never mind, that's a different Pokemon. Sorry, scratch that. A discarded energy, and the Pokemon can't attack on the next turn, I believe is what it is. Yeah. So, that I mainly just use for search. I don't really care about its other attack. It does me no good. Oh, I could if I used it. Now, Pachirisu, I use this to search out energy. Uh, Dunsparce, Draw Power, Keldeo, it's Boss, Hydro Pump Attack, so, uh, now we got Trainers here, we're running 2 Energy Search, just to get that energy that I need for my Keldeo or my Vanillux. Ah, there we go, 2 Energy Retrieval, um, knock out a Pokemon, I have to... Uh, retreat, whatever, whatever. I have energy in my graveyard. I need it for my vanilla and so my Keldeo. I can get it with that. Pokemon communication. Great for searching out the Pokemon that I need. Uh, say I have a Noctowl in my hand and a Hoot Hoot on the field. It's just kind of taking up space. I don't really need it there. can just shuffle back in and get a Pokemon that I want. Um, two Team Plasma Balls. This is just... Uh, let's me search out a Team Plasma Pokemon, so I can get that Vanillux that I'm hooting for, a Cryognal, if I need to search out a Keldeo. Um, can pull a Vaporeon, a Glaceon, Jolteon, whatever I need. And then I've got Shadow Triad. This just lets me put any Team Plasma code that is in my Discord pile, I can put it back into my hand. Team Plasma Grunt. Uh, discard a Team Plasma code, draw four cards. A great ball and lets me get a Pokemon. Can just and lets me search the top. Or let me lets me look at the top seven cards in my deck, and I can pick a Pokemon from among them, put it in my hand, then shuffle my deck. And potion. Yeah, that's it. Just potion for obvious reasons. So thank you for watching. That is my deck, and. Um, if you have any suggestions on what I should take out, what I should put in, please comment. Uh, that's really useful. Not just, you know, getting feedback on my videos, you know, getting what you, or seeing what you guys like, which is very important as well, because I'm here to entertain you guys, but also because this deck isn't at all competitive, and I need a competitive deck. 
So, yeah, if you if you know Pokemon and you have suggestions on what I should be learning here, then please tell me. <laughs> also, um, I want to do the Pokemon t uh, trading card game online. I want to do videos on that, but I'm having troubles getting my collection started, and I really hate to ask for it, but if you guys have extra code cards that you have laying around, if you can message me the codes, then that would be really cool, because I can get my collection started, I can get good decks, and I can bring good gameplays to you guys. So, if you have those, please send them in, it would be, you know, great. Like, if you do YouTube, if you want a shout-out or something like that, I uh, will be more than happy to give you a shout-out. So, if you guys like these videos, want to see more videos like them, or want to see videos that aren't like them, please let me know. Let me know what you want to see. I, you know, I'm here basically for you guys to show you guys what you want to see. So, um, subscribe if you like it. Tell me, you know, subscribe if you don't. <laughs> Just because? No, I'm just kidding. Um, if you don't like my stuff, don't subscribe. It, it, no point to. So, I'm going on and on in this, and I really need to stop talking, so thank you so much for watching, and have a nice day.